Hello everyone and welcome back to the Banterweight Boxing YouTube channel. And wait, can you hear that? Woo, woo, it's the sound of the police. If you have no idea what I'm referring to, God, I should take that out. I'm actually talking about uh, some new news which has come out that the Speaker for the House of Commons has said he's written a letter to uh, the police regarding the Jack Catchell versus Josh Taylor fight. Uh, obviously, as many of you know, big robbery last weekend, uh, well, in my opinion, and a lot of others, uh, with Jack Catchell not getting the decision against Josh Taylor after a very good performance and what I believe to be quite a clear victory, especially if you include the knockdown. But as we're seeing quite often in boxing or throughout boxing, the judges didn't quite see it that way. Um, and, you know, Jack was robbed of the decision. Now, you know, as we've heard Tyson Fury say, Eddie Hearn say, they've all come out and, and said how bad it is. And we see why it's so bad because, you know, Jack is missing out. Not only it, does it tarnish his legacy, you know, now he's got a loss on his record. It's his first loss. He's missed out on the ch opportunity to become a unified champion, which does not come round very often. But not only his legacy, also financially, he's been, you know, he's really been let down. You know, we're talking, if you're a world champion, you've got fights coming out your ears with people willing to pay you millions to fight you. But now he's going to struggle to, you know, to make some big money fights. Not going to struggle, but, you know, it's a massive setback. He's missed out on a huge opportunity, which he does deserve. Um, so, yeah, that's the context. Everyone knows about that robbery. It's terrible. Um, but the Speaker for the House of Commons, as I said, has come out and said he's writing a letter uh, basically, I think he's asking for an investigation into it, uh, some alleged uh, corruption within the sport, because it seems to be everyone's seen it one way, but the judges haven't. So he's asking the question, is there an issue there? Which many of us, you know, uh, not including myself, think there might be some problems going on with the judges uh so it's good to it's good to hear because we know uh, the boxing board of control are investigating the situation but we've heard them say this millions of times before when we've seen uh, a robbery and nothing really comes out of it i think the strategy usually is to uh wait for the you know the whole steam to blow over all the smoke to blow over uh, and people are talking about the, the fight less and less as time goes on, and then, you know, just move on to a bigger fight and wait till everyone forgets about it, which you can see is already happening because, you know, you have the initial reaction, people go crazy, and then, you know, people forget about it. They look to the next big fight, and we just accept that this is a fact of boxing, which we can't get over. But this writing the letter or whatever it is, you know, is... Um, is a sign of maybe maybe a slight change where you know we are raising that this this could be a problem and that this isn't just a fact of boxing and that you know an investigation may be may be required here to look into to what actually happened um first of all snitches get stitches um no i'm only i'm only taking the mic uh first of all do i think anything's really going to come come of this letter uh no not really uh in terms of a fight being changed or a rematch happening. I, I don't. I don't see anything changing there, um, because unfortunately, you know, boxing is a very different sport to many others. It's the judging is is subjective. What I see is not what the judges see. So the judges have a an easy get out of jail free card. They just say, look, what I saw on the night in the moment looked like a Josh Taylor win. So that's what that's all I've got to say. And there's there's not really much much we can say in response to that. Um, but do I think it's a complete waste of time because we're not going to get, you know, a rematch or it's probably not going to be revoked? No, I don't think it is because what we need to do in boxing as boxing fans is when we feel that there has been a robbery or something like that, uh, we need to raise awareness. We need to say, you know, this isn't this isn't good enough. Uh, we want answers. We want something to change. Um, let's leave the word corruption out of it. Let's leave that for now because it's getting too, <laughs> too, too political. But... As a boxing fans, we want to say, okay, if this judge, there was one judge in particular, I can't remember his name, had it quite wide, right? He clearly doesn't know what he's talking about then. If, if, he's, if he's meant to be scoring the fight, he clearly doesn't know what he's been talking about. So what we can do as fans is say, look, we don't want him judging fights. And for fighters as well, they should say, I don't want him judging my fights then. Because he's not fit to be a judge. Because, you know, you're shit at your job, mate. Um, <laughs> you know, 
do one. Uh, so, you know, this whole writing a letter and all of that may not have a direct impact, but I think in a, in a whole thing, you know, it might be good to to raise raise some awareness and say, we're, you know, we're not okay with this. Um, but yeah, do I see much changing? No, not really. Um, in regards to Jack Capshaw and Josh Taylor as a whole, um, I've heard that Josh is willing to uh, offer him a rematch, but it's got to be at a catch weight. Now, obviously, like, on the plus side, a fair, a fair enough to Josh that he's even offering a rematch. Like, I know a lot of people say, oh, yeah, definitely you should offer a rematch. Of course you should. There's a lot of fighters out there who would have got that victory, known it was a bit dodgy, and just gone, yeah, see you later, mate. I'm never never fighting you again. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that to one side. Yeah, it's done. I, I'm not answering any of your emails. You're dead to me. But... He is, he's acknowledging it to an extent, right? Do I believe he should offer him a rematch at the weight they fought at, 140? Yes, I think that's what should happen. I think, you know, there should be a rematch. There definitely should be a rematch. But that's not going to happen. Josh has got the power. Um, he's holding the belt still, unfortunately. And he's, he's not going to he's not gonna offer that. What he's offering is something like a catch weight at 143. Which, you know, if you're Jack Catchall, you're gonna you're probably gonna take it because where else do you go? Uh but obviously you're at a massive disadvantage there because Josh is saying he can't make 140 anymore, so he's gonna come in a lot bigger. Um and it's just not Jack's weight. He's like, Well, I didn't fight you at that weight, so you know, I'm not going up to heavyweight to challenge fucking Tyson Fury, am I? Because I don't fight at that weight. So, you know, it, it's still frustrating at the same time and it is quite annoying. And not only is it probably gonna be a catch weight, it's for none of the belts. So it's probably it's not going to be a big money fight because um, no belts on the line. The first fight wasn't actually, as a spectacle, that entertaining to watch. Uh, I think it will draw a lot of attention now because people will want to see, you know, if uh, Jack can avenge, you know, his ro like him being wronged. So I think there's a selling point there. But it's it's not going to be as big of a money fight uh, as it could have been if the if the belts were on the line. Um, but yeah, it, it's a difficult one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, should more be done now from, um, you know, I don't know. Is it good to get the police involved? Is that what we should, we should, is that the road we should be going down? It seems pretty serious when you first say it. Uh, but it feels like more needs to be done in boxing. So hopefully this could be the start of something, you know, going in a different direction. But, and uh, we see less of these, less of these controversial decisions. But anyway, thank you guys for listening. Bit of a ramble there, but please like and subscribe. Really helps the channel. And good night.